Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means... Australia have chosen to go 4-3-3. Jim, how do you see it? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition, and we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. And that gets things running. Rogic. Across the field it goes. Ball's out on the left now. Rogic. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Front. Luongo. Really good feet. Plenty waiting in the middle. Ball swung in. Lecky. Rogic. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Has a hit! Again, let me mention what a wonderful stop the goalkeeper pulled off there. Really wonderful. Gets it upfield. Armadov positions himself well and cuts it out. Drives it towards the front. Hoists it forward. And it's played forward. He's made sure that that won't get through. Australia still to register a shot on target. Tries lifting it over. A chance! Real chance! It's bounced out! Australia are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. <laughs> Australia take the lead, 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Goes for goal! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Goalkeeper's ball. He's through. Armadov. Lokic.
Luongo. It's come loose. That's a great shoot! A great ball! Lecky. And the shot! Oh, taken with style! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Swift, incisive, deadly. All done in a matter of seconds. Less the turn and finish is to be admired, but what about the sense of urgency and desire to move the ball with such pace on the break as soon as it was retrieved? Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. You can get that clear. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Forward it goes. be the last act of the first half. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Australia go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. And we're already back underway here. That's a shot! Oh, the ball's come loose! to get it forward quickly. Tries to get it forward quickly. Australia really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. He goes long, neatly flicked on. Away from immediate danger. Luongo has set up one goal so far. Luongo gets it back. Two goals ahead and looking comfortable. It into the middle, tries to get it clear. Rogic, Lecky. Luongo Grant Lecky has made his mark on this game can't get the better of his opposite number it's a very good battle there terrific to watch that needed to end with efficiency and incision and we got neither And he's there to clear it. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Has a hit! And somehow he managed to miss it. Oh, it's so very disappointing, but they can't dwell on it. They've got to go again. Simple as. Massive leap! Oh, he's managed to miss it.
Rogic. Rogic needed to come up with a better ball. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Hoists it forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Grant. Ahead by two and just about into the home straight. It's being played forward. And it's played forward. Knocks it in gently. Cleared without complication. On behind for a goal kick. Luongo. Grant. And the referee brings it to a close. So they bask in their win. A genuinely professional performance. And the result, which is well deserved. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking?